What do p jail and Santa Claus have in common? They are just three of the most wild Christmas stories that you have never heard about. Let's get to the list. What if I told you the most famous Christmas song was banned in France and it was written by two men who weren't even Christian? But here's what's crazy. This song went viral because of slavery. Oh Holy Night was written by a French poet who considered himself not a religious man, but was asked to write this poem by his priest for a Christmas mass. He read the gospel of Luke to write his poem and was so inspired that he believed that it needed to become a song. He was so sure that it needed to be a song that he asked his musician friend to write it for him, who was Jewish and didn't believe Jesus was God. However, unfortunately for the both of them, France banned the song when they found out that it was written by a Jewish man and when the poet himself left the faith and became a socialist. But the most beautiful part of the song comes in the third verse, which made it go viral in the United States. John Solomon Dwight, who was an abolitionist in America's South, created his own version of the song, which went viral during the Civil War in an abolishment of slavery. The song was so powerful, in fact, during a French and German war, a French soldier began singing the first three stanzas of the song, and a German soldier began to join him. This was so moving that both sides ceased fire for 24 hours. O Holy Night was the first song ever sung on the radio as the Gospel of Luke was read during a radio broadcast and would move from radios being used for talking broadcasts to music stations. So follow for more stories about how Jesus and the Bible are so powerful enough that they can make the most famous song in the world from people that don't even believe in them. But what I told you that not only were some Christmas songs in the most famous Christmas song that exists, was never supposed to be made. It was a total accident. What do three baby daddies, Jesus, and a one-hit wonder have in common? What if I told you it's the third best-selling song single in the entire world? But here's the crazy part about this story. The song was never supposed to get made. It was a total accident. Joseph Moore was a Catholic priest who was the third illegitimate child of his mother who was impregnated by a soldier who abandoned her and the family who were so poor that Joseph had to be given up for adoption and was taken in by the church. In 1815, Joseph met Franz Guber at his church who was the church organist. Fortunately or unfortunately for Joseph, the organ at the church broke Christmas Eve and he had to scramble for what to do. When he knelt down to pray, the Holy Spirit reminded him that he wrote a poem for God's people who were struggling in Austria during the war. This poem was in reference of the Gospel of John where the Holy Spirit was referenced as being a river of living water. So Joseph ran several miles to meet Franz at his home. So on Christmas Eve, Joseph and Franz penned the four-part Christmas carol, A Silent Night, that was set to a guitar and a choir because their organ was broken. And the crazy part about O Silent Night is that it's one of the most translated songs in the entire world, being translated in over 140 different languages. So Joseph's life and song are a great reflection of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. All things work to the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. We know that Jesus hung with tax collectors, drunks, and prostitutes. But what if one of Jesus' followers didn't agree and wanted to save three daughters from prostitution? This is the story of Santa Claus. What do p jail and Santa Claus have in common? What if I told you that these are the secret beginnings that she never heard of about Christmas? And what's crazy about it? is that they're all 100% absolutely true. So Santa Claus wasn't real, but St. Nicholas was a real person. History says that St. Nicholas was a rich follower of Jesus who inherited his wealth from his parents at their passing and used his wealth to help the poor 
Just like Matthew 25 says, whatever you have done to the least of these, you have done unto me. You won't believe that the story of Christmas involves three poor daughters whose father could not afford their dowry. And they were so poor, in fact, that they believed that they had to go into prostitution. However, when St. Nicholas heard about their story, he stepped in and saved the day by giving them a sack full of money and throwing it down their chimney. But apparently, St. Nicholas wasn't always jolly because legend has it, he even was thrown in jail for throwing hands at the Council of Nicaea. He was defending the doctrine of the Trinity and was thrown in jail for fighting. But we know Catholics have a bad habit of throwing people in jail who follow the Bible. Nonetheless, the real St. Nicholas was a Christian man who followed Jesus, gave to the poor, and threw coins and shoes to the poor to help spread the good news of Jesus Christ and the gospel. So when you hear this song, remember you might get Jesus, presents, and a knuckle sandwich. And those have been some of the craziest stories that you never heard of. If you want more crazy stories that you never heard of, make sure to purchase the book series, Christian Heroes, Then and Now, in the description box below. Make sure to give the like button a knuckle sandwich like St. Nick, and click on screen for another story that you will not believe.